just a couple of quick little things to make sure you understand because we've talked about intermediates, those chemicals that get produced in one step of a reaction and then get used up in a following step. We've also mentioned catalysts before, chemicals that speed up the course of a reaction. Just to make sure you know the difference, a lot of times there's a lot of AP questions that ask you to determine if something's a catalyst or an intermediate. So how does a catalyst work? Uh, they cause the reaction to take a different path. And that different path has a lower activation energy. As a result, the reaction can happen faster. You can see in that graph that's provided that the red line represents an uncatalyzed reaction, while the blue line represents that catalyzed reaction. In both cases, we're starting in the same place and we're ending in the same place. The only difference is the amount of activation energy you need from one reaction to the other. In that catalyzed reaction, you have a lower activation energy and therefore the reaction can get to the product side in a shorter amount of time. More particles would have enough energy to overcome that energy barrier to make it over that mountain. Catalysts appear at both the beginning and the end of a reaction. They are not consumed in a reaction. You might remember when you were learning how to write balanced chemical equations a long time ago, that whenever we had a catalyst, we would put that chemical on top of the arrow in a balanced chemical equation. We wouldn't add the catalyst as a reactant that implies that it would react and get used up and turn into something else on the product side of the reaction. But we don't do that. Whenever we have catalysts in a reaction, we write them on top of the arrow. That's because they are not consumed in the reaction. They're there in the beginning and they're there at the end. They're just kind of a guide for a reaction to show you a, a shortcut a, a pathway that requires less activation energy. Catalysts can be found in rate law equations. Remember that intermediates could not be found in rate law equations. So that's why we had that one example of substituting in equilibrium constant expressions in order to solve for our overall rate law. Catalysts can be found in a rate law equation no problem. Intermediates cannot. Uh, if those catalysts are in the same phase as the reactants, we call those guys homogeneous catalysts. Just to distinguish those catalysts from those intermediates, an intermediate is the product in one reaction, a reactant in another. It ends up getting canceled out. It's kind of like a spectator ion from doing that ionic equations. Intermediates are consumed in a reaction. They do get used up, unlike those catalysts. Intermediates cannot be found in a rate law equation. That's why we had that one example that there was an intermediate in the slow step, that rate determining step, and we could not write the overall rate law equation with an intermediate in it, and we had to do that substituting in an equilibrium expression. That is it for catalysts, intermediates, the end.